This is the final word. Phone in on Talk Sport. Faker Others and Alan Pardew with you this evening. Thank you very much for your company as always. Have you been at a game today? Watching from home? Tell us 03717 Text us on 81089 if you'd like as well. Uh, we've just watched an absolutely cracking game at Anfield, end to end in the end. But it finished Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. Liverpool go top of the table. Uh, what did you make of it if you watched it? Uh, me and Paz thoroughly enjoyed it sitting in the green room here at Talk Sport in South London that's for sure and you've been calling us to give us your opinions uh, New Emery and I have to say is it new or new because when I read it I thought Unai Emery was calling, <laughs> calling <laughs> us I don't think you'll be getting him tonight no, no maybe not maybe not is it new I'm afraid it's Neil. It's not Unai, I'm afraid. Neil! (laughs) Neil, it's lovely to talk to you. Uh, How much did you enjoy that earlier? Um, It was a great game, great result. Uh, Obviously an avid Liverpool fan. Um, I just wanted wanted to highlight the fact that the refereeing decisions, the Premier League needs to take a real good hard look at some of the refereeing that's going on in the Premier League. I mean, that decision at Wolves today... Um, was short of shoddy, nothing short of shoddy, and and the referee in at Liverpool today. I mean, the penalty is not enough in it for me to get overturned. VAR should not have, uh, uh, have have suggested the referee go to the monitor, and some of his decisions were just atrocious. I mean, that Nunes decision in the last few minutes. Yeah, I mean, what is he doing? Is he is he not watching the same game that we're watching? It's just unbelievable, and it's. It, it, you know, it, it's no, it's no surprise that the that the big money clubs are, are getting the majority of the decisions, and it's something the Premier League just have to start looking at. It's unbelievable. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'll go to uh, one thing that worries me about VAR and the way the sort of direction it's going is that actually the referee is kind of like a a weaker area of the man of the management of the game than he's ever had because you know he's getting to these big decisions now and you almost know that VAR is the dominant feature on the big decision Mm. it's not the referee anymore although he does have to go to the monitor and sort of put his rubber stamp on it do you know what I mean so I think um, that's a little bit of a concern uh, for me but you know in 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 total uh, in terms of when you're a player on the football pitch and I look at players reaction Everybody now know like every goal is going to VAR. Everything is going to you know be seen or not seen on the bench. When you're the manager, you perceive that you know is it a goal? You don't even you, you don't even react. You know you know you just got to wait until the final judgment is in. Mm. And even like on some of these decisions, the final judgment is always can be cloudy. And we've had so many of them football. today. And that's it's football. football. It's subjective. It but can subjective. I also just just pull you up a tiny bit there Neil brilliant call by the way and thank you for that but Arsenal fans would perhaps suggest that big teams don't always get the rub of the green so it's not all the big teams getting it because Arsenal are pretty unhappy about how you know they've been refereed recently yep. so I, I don't I, I don't, I don't think there's there's bias there no I don't and no, I definitely don't think that I, I, and, I've, and I've worked in countries where I think there definitely is bias yeah and I've seen it so um, but here nowhere near nowhere near those kind of levels and I don't think there is any kind of overseeing body going oh well, let's make it a Man City Arsenal race or whatever and you know let's be harsh on Wolves there's none of that going on they're just genuinely sometimes with these decisions being overzealous maybe with the VAR I think there's a little bit of that and I and I personally would love to see you know referees disagree actually a little bit more sort of hold their fault we've seen it a few times yeah, Michael Oliver, to, Oliver yeah. a few times has gone to the screen and said no I no, stick with no, my original decision yeah exactly and I think I would like to see a little bit more of that personally yeah well I mean I suppose look they, they don't have eyes in the back of their heads and there are certain situations and we'll get on to the Arsenal situation yesterday with Saliba's red card where mm. I don't think that the referee would have been able to see whether or not you know where Ben White was in the in 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 the grand scheme of that, and and whether he was the last man, and that's why I think it was Rob jo- Rob Jones, the referee, gave a yellow card first of all, and it was a clear and obvious error because, in my opinion, he was the last man, and he was denying a clear and it's obvious so goal scoring opportunity. He could have so chipped. He could have chipped the goalkeeper. No, 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 and no, 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 no. Raya was sorry. off his line, and he was backpedaling. I'm not. I'm so, not having the Saliba one as a definite red. But it's, it's subjective, not. isn't it? It is subjective, and there's no way. <laughs> 
say that in when you when when you when you're coaching a game, like if I'm coaching a, a my professional football team and we're doing a nine v nine and someone's got you know and and the, and the players want me to referee it fairly, right? Mm. Unless they, he's in on goal and he's around the penalty box, for me that is a sending off. That's like off off the pitch. You got a five minute penalty or whatever, mm. but. Halfway line, I'm afraid you've got too much to do. No, I don't know. We've seen some goals. The, the keepers have been lobbed quite a few times this season. Anyway, we disagree. What do you think? 03717 double two double three double four. Earlier on, David, the Manchester City fan, said he was fed up with VAR interfering with the beautiful game. Although do you feel won. the same? Although they won, exactly. Uh, and on the pitch, should Liverpool be the favourites for the title now? Or are they having another season of transition? On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.